Hey everybody, figured I'd do a short video on uh, spinning a crankshaft on the balancer. Um, a lot of people have never seen this done, don't understand how it works, but um, this is just a 302 Ford crank external balanced um, out of like a 5 liter Mustang. Um, all of these bob weights, we call them. These four simulate the weight of the rod and piston assembly, rings, pins, uh, rod bearings. Uh, there's some formulas that divide stuff up between re rotating and reciprocating weight. But basically, you, you simulate the weight of the rod and piston assemblies. And in this case, because it's external balanced, you'd have the uh, dampener, the balancer, I should say, that's used on the front. And then you have the flex plate on the rear, and um, it'll have an external weight because it's external balanced. So this is the external weight. This is a Ford factory flex plate. And then on the dampener, you can see it has an area that's heavier. So that's offset, and that's, that's the external part of the balance on the balancer. So what I'm going to do is spin the crank here and see where we're at. I haven't touched this, just set it up to see where it's at. We're going to spin it first. This is uh, 600 RPM if it will go that high. Um, if it's too far out of balance, the machine won't let it spin that fast, but we'll see what happens. This has always amazed me, and I don't know how many hundreds and hundreds of balance jobs I've done, but that's 600 RPM. It makes you wonder how things don't blow up at idle. It's just a blur. So here's, the, uh, here's what the software tells us. It's not that far off, really, compared to what I was thinking, maybe. It shows it's about 6 grams light on the front and 18 on the rear, and the yellow dots are showing where it would prefer we add that weight. Um, we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, what I'm going to do next is put on an aftermarket flex plate for the rear and see how close it is compared to the factory and then we'll go from there so hang on okay so I installed this flex plate we're uh, only going to put two bolts in which is perfectly fine because they are 180 from each other and the weights offset by the way, the bolt pattern on the Ford it only allows you to put it on in the correct orientation. You, you can't line all the bolts up if you have it on the wrong pattern. These holes in this flex plate are apparently off a little bit, which is a pain in the butt, but it'll go on. And you can only put it on that way and also it even tells you on the front there's a sticker that says engine side so if you get one of these and pull it out of a box and look at it it'll tell you where it goes really nothing exciting about this job it's just work all right all I've done is switched to this aftermarket. Uh, this happens to be a PRW brand. It's SFI certified and all that good jazz. Uh, only reason we're doing this is I actually had this. It's brand new. Um, I bought it for a different project a few a couple years ago and we didn't use it. This crankshaft is actually one of my own. It's uh, 
It's actually for an engine we're building for my wife and my daughter, uh, Mustang convertible. But anyway, let's give this a spin and see what happens. Well, it's mildly encouraging. It spun up to 600. It's not, not wobbling. That's decent. Well, let's see where we end up. Holy smokes. Well, isn't that interesting? That is way off. 83 grams these marks actually are showing it wants me to drill to remove weight now 83 grams is a ton and it wants it removed see as I turn this crank it turns on the screen so I line up that yellow when it turns green and that's the first drill area Basically, it would want me to drill right here and then go to the next next drill marks, same thing, turn green, that's where you would normally drill. So I'd put one about here, but that is a ton and it happens to coincide with the location of their weight, which I thought was odd. They have that weight and they have this huge window cut out of the flex plate about 180 degrees from that weight. <laughs> wow, that, that is surprising. I did not think it would be that far off. Something with this flex plate is obviously not right. And it is the correct part number and whatever. I've checked it already. But let's spin it one more time. See if we just have some kind of anomaly with the balancer, but I doubt it. Well, that just sucks if that's the case. Not that this engine needs an SFI flex plate, but I figured I'd use it. Kind of looking like I'm not going to. Wow, no, nope. you can see it's pretty repeatable. Huh, it's so far off, it changed the front even. Previously, it wanted us to, to uh, add weight, now it wants to remove weight on the front because the, the amount of imbalance is so far off on the rear, it actually transfers through the crank and that is crazy. Huh. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's just this, that's the story of the times. You just can't buy stuff anymore and just assume that it's going to work. This is why we have these uh, greedy machine shops, as people like to say, like myself. We check this stuff. Hopefully find things before they cause a problem, because that definitely will cause a vibration. But anyway... I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this uh, setup here and we'll make another video and go from there. But this turned out to be a little different than what I was thinking it was going to be for a video. But hopefully you found it interesting. Check in with you later.